Hi, in this video, we're putting the spotlight on the Logs app. The Logs app is perfect for everyone that needs to find specific logs or analyze trends without having to write any query. So let me open up the Logs app. By default, when you open it, you'll get an immediate overview of log activity over the last 30 minutes. So the chart on the top shows me immediately how many logs are coming in split by log level. If I want to change the time frame, I can change it here through the time frame selector. For instance, last two hours. I can also, on the very bottom left, filter on particular segments. In Dynatrace, we have the capability to define data segments. So for instance, I can click on my Kubernetes namespaces and I select uh, production. So this allows me to filter down on what I'm really interested to see. Click on run query. So whenever you change the filter, I am now seeing the last 30 minutes, or actually two hours of my logs coming from my production namespace. Now, another very interesting use case is if you want to find a particular log, you want to filter on particular fields in your log, whether it's status, the content, or any other field. You can see here we have all of the metadata, all of the text, the log text available. Now, let me start with a very common use case. I want to find particular log messages that contain a certain text, so where the log content contains a particular value you're interested in. You can see here, I click content. I'm getting presented with the different comparison options. In my case, I'm interested in the content contains a certain value. In my case, for instance, I'm looking for the word credit card because I assume this word is part of a log message. So I click on query and all of a sudden, look at this, I get an overview of all the log messages from the last two hours that came in on my prod namespace and containing the text credit card. Now, the interesting thing is, right, if you are looking at the table on the bottom, these are really all of the logs that are coming in. Uh, I also get to see most of them have errors. I can further refine if I want to. So refinement of the filter also works uh, by clicking on some of these values. So if you hover over, for instance, error and next to it there's three dots, I can click on it and I can further refine to show, only show me the errors because it seems there's some regular error logs in there as well. So I click on it. You can see just a single click, updated the filter. And if I now want to run the query, I run it again. So very easy for me to get an overview. But now the story goes on. I now have logs that have an error in my production namespace and that contain the word credit card. I can click on any of those log entries. And then on the right side, you can see how the side panel comes in. I get more details. I get more details about the actual content. I can also scroll down and see uh, the topology information. Every time logs are sent to Dynatrace, we're not only extracting the metadata on the log, but we also enrich it with context from which process does it come, from which host does it come, from which Kubernetes cluster. Nice thing is I could further refine my filtering. So for instance, if I want to say only show me the logs from this particular host, you get the idea. You can just click on the three dots and you always have the filter option. All right. So just to show you What's here, all the fields, in this case, an AWS resource we've enriched as logs are sent to Dynatrace, every log entry with metadata. And this is also the metadata that you can use for filtering. Now, if you have found a particular log, you obviously get the log message. This is great, invalid credit card in my case. This is why it was found in my filter. But I can go deeper or I can find more relevant information for troubleshooting. So as you can see on the top, it says show surrounding logs. Show surrounding logs, if I click it, gives me all of the logs in that context. Now, what is context? In this case, this log was captured in the context of a trace. That means we have logs enriched with trace information. And so now I see all of the logs that happened based on the same trace. You can see this surrounding logs based on trace. So as a developer, this is really great because I can see every single log that was created in my transaction until the one that I initially started my diagnostics for. Now I can also change here from based on trace to based on topology. If I do this and then run the query, 
What Dynatrace does, it gives me all of the logs that have been created in that time frame when the error happened, not only in that transaction, but on that particular process in this particular host. And you can see here, these are all of the individual instances that Dynatrace looks into, right? Because we have the notion of where was this log initially ingested. We have the topology model. Really great um, and really cool to see. So what else do we have? Uh, we have the log information. Uh, we can always then go back on the top left, right? Going back to the overview of the logs. Uh, if you want to start from scratch, I want to show this as well, right? You can always clear the filter uh, and then run the query again. So this now shows me all the logs in the production uh, namespace because I still have my filter on the segments. Just a couple of other quick things. You can see here by default, we have one, two, three, four, five different columns. You can see here there's 37 columns are hidden. That means if you click on it, you actually get presented with all of the log metadata that Dynatrace has captured on those logs. So I can, for instance, say host name, Kubernetes cluster name, it might be interesting, Kubernetes namespace name. I click on confirm and I get all of this additional information in. So I think this is really cool. Now in uh, Kubernetes, uh, if you know, give you one more example, uh, I have multiple nodes. So maybe you wanna pick that error uh, log here and I say, you know, I'm only interested in error logs that come from this particular host, from this particular Kubernetes node. So I can click on it and I can, again, filter, right? So you can interact with every column, with every table, and uh, this makes it super easy and super intuitive. And, you know, you have, uh, you have not needed uh, to write any type of query. Now, this is a great way to explore your logs, to do pro, uh, proactive uh, investigation, to discover some of the root causes, whether you're a developer, a performance engineer, an SRE, whether you are in, in network and analyzing uh, network logs. Um, the story does not end here, uh, but probably for uh, another video, every time you have um, identified certain logs, you can always click on the open with which then allows you to analyze this log in a different context. You can put it on a dashboard, you can put it on a notebook. Um, you can also put it to the security investigator or you can also use automation for it. Now, another thing what you can do is you can on top right also always see the DQL query behind the scenes. So if you're really interesting to see what would be the query behind the scenes, just click on the box and then you can see the actual query, right? So this is really what it is. And if you want to go back, go back to the previous uh, filter and then we are back into our uh, view that we had earlier. So the log set, the log set really gives you access to all of your logs without having to write a single query. It gives you filtering options. It makes it easy for you to identify and then analyze the logs. And once you found a log, you can uh, then do more with it by opening it up with a different app, uh, or as you've seen earlier, doing the um, find the surrounding logs. Really cool stuff. Thank you so much. More apps will be covered.